Sup my nerds, so we are going to look at density today and um, what substances make a good or bad um, submarine, that's what we're looking at. So we have this, but basically we're going to be looking at the simulation from um, FET, they make interactive simulations and they're pretty good. Uh, so we're going to have a look at uh, density today. This is what your screen will look like when you follow this link here. Um, which will be below or like down there or in if you're actually in my class in an email um so let's have a look so we press on this button right here gets us running it opens up like this and then there's going to be several options we have intro compare or mystery we are going to ignore mystery altogether um, now there are a couple of things that we probably need to make sure we have down pat before we start. First off is that uh, density uh, equals um, mass, which we're going to measure in grams, uh, divided by unit of volume, actually. Now, in this case, it's going to be liters. Uh, now, actually, that's going to be kilograms with this thing here. Now, a liter in the way we describe volume is a decimeter cube. Remember, that's the 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter box, right? Um, and a kilogram is a thousand grams. So let's um, move this down the side here. We're going to need that. And then we will click up here to intro. That's where, oh, turn that off. Um, how do we get out of there? Hmm. Exit drawing. There we go. <laughs> um, all right. Now we go to intro. All righty. So the first thing we'll do, I'll just shove myself over the side here, is you'll see that we have an option. Uh, we have an option for volume. I'm going to suggest we set the volume down a little bit to one liter because that's the size that we're used to dealing with and it'll allow us to put certain things in. And we have this 0.4 grams there. Now we have options, styrofoam, wood, ice, brick, aluminium, custom. Um, and we're going to have a look at essentially which one's going to be the best to build a, um, if any of these would be good to build a submarine out of. And we're going to compare the density. Now, we are looking at two, two um, different uh, variables we're looking at an independent variable and a dependent variable an independent variable is going to be the density and we'll see here we have wood which is at 0 0.4 kilograms per one liter and that is right there so you're going to need to record that now that's our independent variable and that means that's the thing we are changing um, and we're not changing it directly we're changing it by changing the substance but we're going to look at that number our dependent variable, that is the thing we are measuring, is whether is how buoyant it is. Now, stick with me for a sec. This is our example. Remember this from class. Something has negative buoyancy if it sinks. And what that means is that the weight of the object is greater than the buoyant force. Um, we have positive, positive buoyancy if something rises. Um, so the weight of the object is less than the buoyant force of the water. And we have neutral buoyancy if it doesn't sink or rise, but it just kind of like floats in the middle. All right, so we're actually looking to see if as density increases, will an object become, have negative buoyancy, or sorry, maximal density, will an object have negative buoyancy, positive buoyancy, or neutral buoyancy? That's our experiment. And conversely, at the lowest density will our obvious object have negative, positive, or neutral buoyancy. All right. Brilliant. All right, so we've got our independent variable. Independent variable is the density. Our um, dependent variable is the buoyancy. Oops, let's move me back over here. What? All right. Um, boom, over there we go. Okay, so we've got our little thing. And we can change what our block is made out of. And be all these. Uh, so I'll just show you another uh, styrofoam. Um, you'll see that styrofoam 
Actually, let's make a beer. Let's get a five liters. I like five liters because you can see more of the brick. Um, you can also change this, I believe, if you want. No, maybe not. Um, I like the bigger one because you can see more of the brick and where it's sitting in the water. You'll see here that we have the numbers here, 0.75 divided by 5 litres gives us 0.15. So the maths is largely done for you, but you will need to record it in a table. Okay. Now remember in a table we have the units on top and, and all that sort of stuff. So remember your rules for tabling. You can actually drag these around and move them. So um, then we can change. Boom. So you ought to go through all of these and see which one it is. Um, humans tend to be about, look up human density and put that in there if you want, I don't mind. Um, but I want those recorded and I want the density and then whether it had positive, neutral um, or negative buoyancy. And you are going to be making a mixture of qualitative, that's the describing the type of buoyancy, and quantitative that has numbers, so that's the measuring there. Okay, so uh, what that means is uh, if you were to graph it, you're probably going to have to decide graph values. Maybe, maybe even dare I say it? Um, no, I won't. I shan't say it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, you can change it so that you have two objects at the same time. Totally up to you. Then we can move to the compare, where we have a different groups of um, non, um, this is for if you are done, you can design your own experiment with this section here. Um, we can keep something constant, which is actually kind of important. So we're now introducing control variables. So for example, here we have four unknown substances, unknown substances, and um, they have a mass um, right there, different volumes. So we can have it where we keep the mass the same, where we keep the volume the same. So now see how their masses have all changed, but the volumes are all identical to each other. Or we can set up so that each box has the same density. And I want you to come up with your own experiment based on one of those if you have time at the end. Um, however, we are going to start here. So what you are doing is you are measuring the relationship between density and type of buoyancy. Um, that should that should um, have something to do with your title, etc. Now, now I'm going to send you this, um, and this I want you to handwrite it. But this is your sort of template to go with. First off, the date. Uh, write your date in when you do your experiment, and you know what format I want your date in. Um, title of the experiment. So this one I'll give you the start. Uh, the relationship. between uh, density and, I'm going to spell this wrong. Nah, I got it right, nice. The relationship between density and buoyancy, excellent. Um, aim, your aim is to explore that relationship, um, to investigate, however. Uh, your hypothesis, present tense, and this is actually an error. Um, it should be, if there, is a relationship between um, independent variable and dependent variable. So you get to write down what they actually are. Don't just think. Um, then as whoop, the independent variable again name it increases the dependent variable will increase decrease your call um so that's the jam there materials uh what did you use you, you used your laptop and a simulation from this link to it though link to it uh, make it easy when you study method bang every step you did present tense um, passive voice, not I did this, this was done. Um, sorry, past tense, uh, passive voice. Uh, diagram, you should draw a diagram of the setup. And I don't just mean draw the computer, I mean draw a diagram of what the screen looks like. You're writing this by hand. Uh, results, these need to be done in a table. 
um, for this. I don't see a graph happening today. Then we have the discussion and conclusion. So is the hypothesis supported as proof? What problems were encountered? How could it be improved? What errors were made? Also, what are the limitations of the experiment? And how could uh, further questions? All right? Then, a conclusion. Boom. Right, directly to the um, aim. We investigated this. This is what was found. All right. So I will send both of those to you. Um, and yeah, that's our format. So go into FET. Run your experiment. I'm sorry I'm not there today. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, peace out. I'll be on the email if you have any questions or you'll have a teacher in the room with you. Um, if it's just something about like, I don't know. Can you go to the bathroom? I don't know. I'm not there. Uh, but if it's about like this, I will be on the email at the time. Have fun. Bye.